What's up Hunters, Project here with my first build video for Iceborne. I finally was able to unlock Garuga, so my build is now complete. Welcome to my guide for God Hand. As you probably know, I main Hammer, so of course the first video is gotta be a Hammer build. And boy, did I make a good one for y'all. Skip the slugger shenanigans, this build's all about them deeps. Hit hard, crush brains, all with the bronze hand of death. But really, there's only two Hammer options for highest damage, Asklav and Shara's. Acidic Lav's downside is it has a sliver of purple sharpness, so you're forced to run protective polish and speed sharpening lest you'll dip into white constantly and lose that 1.39 multiplier, and without speed sharpening you're spending 5 seconds sharpening and losing damage or kill time. The other route is Master's Touch, but you have to reach 100% crit, but not only 100% crit, but it requires you to wound body parts constantly. Thus, you're basically having 80% crit chance during those moments, and Asklav's hammer will dip into white on non-crits. So, I decided to go with Shara's. That's all say frickin' hand, I mean, come on. Anyway, here's the build. Crit I7, attack level 6 with Rocksteady on, max handicraft, max weakness, and max crit boost. With my 4 slot jewels, I'm also getting handy skills like Airborne for more jump attack damage for ledge speedrun strats, Affinity sliding for an extra 20% affinity after go and spin to win on a slope. And of course, since Shara's is hidden element, we go elementless for the extra raw damage. Now, the main attraction to this build is the Razor Sharp Charm. In my opinion, is one of the best charms to use over the others, as this essentially doubles whatever sharpness you have, making my purple last a very long time. I can easily fight a monster entirely in one zone without dipping to white ever. And you can just sharpen between the monster changing zones to have it fresh for the next encounter. So unlike some builds, this one maintains its damage for the entirety of each face off. You can get the razor sharp charm from doing your housekeeper quest line. It gives you the charm after you complete the capture acidic glavinous optional quest. The best thing is you don't need to upgrade it like other charms. So the build is essentially complete provided you forge all the armor and have the decos. For decorations, yes, I have three attack jewels. If you don't have them, I recommend either vitality or speed sharpening, your choice. So long as you can get level 4 attack, you're all good. Because the attack skill is less useful now that we have higher raw stats. So going to max level 7 isn't that great in reality as you're only gaining 9 raw attack from level 4 to 7, which is pretty shit desu. Hence, I went with a reliable crit i7 as a constant. With that, I got 45% crit, and with weakness exploit level 3 hitting a wounded spot, hey, 95% crit, basically almost 100% crit chance. And with level 3 crit boost, for the extra 15% crit damage, you'll be doing some really impressive numbers. Now you are going to need at least one handicraft jewel, level 3 or 4, hopefully 4, to reach max handicraft. Double tender and one crit boost should max those out as well. Get elementless and the rest is a mix of level 4 and 1 attack and expert jewels. You should have gotten an expert jewel 4 from the smithy that's free to everyone early on in Iceborne, so use that in one of the level 4 slots. The only really late game piece is Garuga's legs. You unlock it after unlocking Guiding Lands and reaching Master Rank 24. He's pretty tough, so good luck. But his Pantsu is one of the best general Pantsu to get, so for sure craft and maybe sniff them. Anyways, for the mantles, Rocksteady. 
upgrade it and you get two level one slots. I'm unsure if there's an upgrade for temporal mantle, but I do know evasion mantle can be upgraded with two level two slots. So perhaps consider agitator for more damage or slugger for more KO potential if you plan to use that. For augments, I have no clue what it takes to upgrade this as I haven't leveled my guiding lands that far nor farmed too much yet. But since we already reached near 100% crit, I would just go with attack up and maybe not even use the other extra slot upgrade. Since the only thing you could get with that is the defense up one, which meh. Min max that if you want, but I'd rather save the mats for other weapons. And that wraps it up for my god hand build. Build it, have fun, I think it's a very powerful build, certainly competitive enough, and the razor sharp is a great quality of life over the normal protective polish. If you like this build and want to see more, make sure to palm strike that like button. I'm streaming nearly every day at 8pm Eastern Time for 4-6 to six hours at twitch.tv slash projectwar, so if you want to party up and bonk some mons, make sure to stop by. I have a hammer and longsword master guide up in the annotations, so check those out to level your game up. And before you go, make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on the build, or share with us your build you're currently rocking to smash Iceborne. And, of course, subscribe for more Mon Hun Epicness.